In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Revolve 360 from Sugar SugarFX. Revolve 360 is an effect that allows you to edit and animate spherical video and images right in your timeline. I'm in Final Cut Pro 10, but Revolve 360 works in Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects as well. You can find it in the Effects Browser under 360 Sugar SugarFX. This effect includes built-in setups and animations to get you started right away. Let's take a look at a few of them. I like the preset Super Tiny Planet. Let's dive into the parameters. Revolve 360 provides a set of basic parameters with an expanded set of parameters when the display mode dropdown is set to Automatic Animation. Under the Projection section, you can flip or flop your image. You can change the direction of the projection and lower the resolution while you're working if you're on an older system that would have difficulty in handling the higher quality setting. In the Settings category, you can do things like rotate the virtual sphere on the X, Y, and Z axes, as well as adjust the amounts of fisheye and zoom distortions. Special Framing provides controls to move the virtual camera inside the virtual sphere, as well as scaling the projection of the image from the bottom up or from the top down. When the display mode is set to Automatic Animation, another set of controls become available. I'll choose the Little Planet to Little Sky preset and jump down to the Animation Setup section. Here, you can enable a timeline display in the viewer that corresponds by color with each group of animation parameters. You can increase the visibility of the lines with the slider. Toggling the Compare checkbox allows you to be able to see the start and end framing of your video. By moving the Start End slider, you'll be able to see the Start and End image transition to compare how the animation will start and end. The Animation section contains its own Presets menu, where you can save and reuse setups affecting only this section. You can enable each animation category by toggling the checkbox. This opens a set of controls to adjust the values for the animation. The Behavior menu allows you to set the animation to Looping or Mirror Loop meaning that the animation will loop at the end in reverse. The motion dropdown controls the animation curve or motion smoothness between the start and the end of the animation. I like ease in and out. I like what I've put together, so I'll save it as a preset to use later, which will be available across all host applications. Revolve 360 from SugarFX allows you to edit, animate, and control panoramic videos and images with ease. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.